Hi there, I'm Sean Bindley and this is Meet the Ministers. My guest on the program this evening is Simon Finn. Simon is the member for Yorong Pili and he is the Minister for Government Services, the Building Industry and uh, Information and Communications Technology. Simon, welcome. Thank you. Nice to be here. You grew up in Victoria, in Williamtown. What was it like growing up down there? Yeah, I did grow up in Victoria. Um, Sometimes in Queensland, that's a bit of a confession to make rather than, uh, <laughs> than anything else. We're far more welcoming yeah. these days than though we probably were 10, 15 years ago, I'd imagine. Well, I think I, I moved out of Victoria in 1991, so I've been a Queenslander for a long time and yeah. feel like I'm a Queenslander now. Yeah. Uh, but yes, Williamstown, I was born in Williamstown and I grew up in a number of suburbs across the western side of Melbourne, uh, if you like. My family uh, built their, my mum and dad built their first home in about 1970 in Werribee, which was uh, on the fringe of the urban sprawl at that time. But, you know, a, a suburb that was, um, you know, the urban sprawl is the best way to describe it, really. Yeah, it was yeah, you yeah. Know, the edge of the uh, edge of the city in, in many ways and still some, uh, you know, some 40 minutes drive into, into the centre of Melbourne. You ever get back down there? You visit the old hometown? Try to get back down a bit. Um, uh, you know, there are ties... Uh, that you always have to your hometown yeah. and, and you know, all of us have those ties. So um, there are friends, there are family, there are um, favourite haunts, there's football teams, there's oh, a range of things uh, in Melbourne. Nowadays um, uh, I often go for or often spend a bit more time um, in those special streets of Melbourne, the cosmopolitan parts of Melbourne that mm. I enjoy visiting as I feel a bit like a tourist in them nowadays rather than a Melbourne boy. But um, yeah, I often get back as much as I can. Your your grandfather was the mayor of Williamstown, mm. and uh, for a while there, your father was uh, the headmaster of the school that you attended as well. Yeah, that's right. I, I grew up in a family of two teachers. Uh, Mum and dad were both teachers, uh, and for some period of time, I uh, attended a school where my dad was the principal. Didn't give me any special favours. Uh, uh, might have been a bit harder, in fact. Yeah. Uh, but so for some period of my primary school education, I was at um, a school that Dad was the principal at. But yeah, my grandfather. My grandfather was the mayor of um, Williamstown uh, for a period of time. Williamstown is a a, be, a, a, a bayside suburb, um, you know, sort of across the bay from St Kilda. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, he was the mayor for. A, I think he had a couple of terms as mayor. The local government arrangement in. Victoria is very different uh, in that uh, here what we're used to in Brisbane is and Queensland is the direct election of a mayor and then the election of some councillors uh, representing wards. Um, in uh, Victoria, the mayor is chosen by the elected councillors. So he didn't go out and run in the community okay. as a mayor. He runs in the community as a councillor, is elected by his colleagues. Interestingly, though, I didn't uh, grow up in a, a party political family. Uh, my grandfather was uh, a fiercely independent mayor, so uh, didn't run for election on a party ticket. Yeah. Uh, my parents were, um, you know, weren't political party uh, members either. Uh, but there was a, a, a long streak of politics probably um, in my family in that my grandfather, who was fiercely independent, as I said, uh, was probably lent to, towards a Menzian liberal uh, individual enterprise model, yeah. but his mother um, has been described as a, a, a rampant red ragger, um, uh, and apparently the, my mother grew up with uh, her father and her grandmother engaging in very political discussions over the dinner tables. So do, you, do you remember that growing up, but do you remember being conscious of the fact that, you, that your grandfather was in politics and was somebody of some import? Mm -hmm. um, in fact, it's quite remarkable, um, I said in my first speech to the parliament that uh, I, my earliest political memories are of my grandfather's campaign and it's, it's quite astounding to me because I have a memory of being at a polling booth um, handing out for him on the day that he lost okay. uh, and, he, he, and when I think back it must have been, you know, I must have been four years old. Yeah. But the opponent that he lost to, I've never forgotten that person's name for some reason. So right back at a very early age, I was engaged, uh, you know, from a family point of view in, in the political process. So I do remember it. Um, my grandfather passed away uh, when I was eight. So, uh, you know, I don't have later memories of, of that. Do you remember that kind of creating an interest or do you remember that having that influence in your family 
creating something in the back of your mind that you maybe had in the future ahead of you? I think there are a couple of things. Um, yeah. My grandfather um, was considered to be a fairly statesman-like, community-oriented local councillor, um, somebody who was um, you know, a significant figure in the family, um, uh, a rather large man who uh, ran his own business and was um, you know, very strong family values kind of person. So I, I think I will have picked up some of that as a young child. But I guess when, I, when I'm asked this question, I, and you know, having said that, I didn't grow up in a party, party yeah, partisan sure. kind of family. Yeah. Um, the encouragement that I had from my parents was to have a curiosity, um, to have an awareness of world events, that, that the answer to one of my questions would be, well, how are you going to find out the answer rather than giving me the answer? Having the influence of those uh, two teachers. Yeah. That's right, yeah. having that. So I think there's a bit of that, a bit about of an encouragement to have a curiosity and an awareness of world events. But also having two teachers that bought their first home on the edge of the urban sprawl. Um, many of the families living on or that shift to that area um, aren't necessarily as, uh, didn't necessarily have the same background as my parents. So uh, they gave, and mum in particular, uh, gave a lot of support to young families around. So I was sort of instilled, a community value was instilled in me from, from a very young age. Mm -hmm. um, my parents were, well, my mum was a ranger leader um, in the Girl Guide movement, so um, there'd be you know, those kinds of activities happening at our house, range of meetings at our house, um, and uh, you know things like that. But helping out other families were. When part do you of that. when do you remember having the idea of politics as a career ahead of you? Was that something that came after mm. you'd entered the workforce, or something that you slowly worked towards, or did politics choose you? Or I always had an interest in politics, yeah. um, but I didn't. I didn't have sort of a career plan to become an elected representative. So I remember, for example, I remember very strongly the events of um, 1975. Uh, I remember being, I was in grade five at the time. Yeah. I remember the teacher spending the whole day talking to us about the events that were unfolding uh, in Canberra mm. uh, with the dismissal of the Whitlam government. And I can still, I can still see that picture of the teacher you know, drawing the Houses of Parliament on the on the blackboard and talking mm. us through. Um, so I think I always had an awareness of it. I was also, um, uh, grew up in a family where there was competition for the newspapers of a Saturday morning. Um, and I remember not being allowed to touch them until mum, and mum had read them first. Uh, and so I sort of had this ongoing awareness. I got involved a bit in um, politics at the student level when I went to university. So I sort of engaged with a student organisation um, ran for office in, in a student organisation. Didn't get overly um, active in, in party politics, but at that time sort of found uh, my way with um, uh, joining a political party and getting involved in the processes from there. Uh, and so I, I, I wasn't, you know, I couldn't say I was walking around as a 10 year old with uh, a career view that I'll be the Prime Minister. Um, but I always had an interest in politics. And when, uh, when eventually I took the decision to, uh, to run, it wasn't an unnatural decision and it wasn't something that was foreign to me. It was something that was quite normal to me. Okay, okay. My guest on the program this evening is Simon Finn. Simon is the member for Yorong Pili and you're watching Meet the Ministers. Mm -hmm. 